I feel like now is a good time to talk about this individual because of all of the unhinged actions and general behavior that he just keeps exuding. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, today I want to talk about Dark Viper AU and just how extreme, paranoid, and delusional this individual is. Let me start with some pretty old drama just to paint a picture of just how extreme Dark Viper can really get. Dark Viper AU in the past was and currently still is a GTA speedrunner that was not really well known up until a particular controversy and probably one of the most notable instances of reaction content content being heavily criticized on the YouTube sphere. Dark Viper had a meltdown in regards to reaction content where he equated those who were reactors akin to rapists and sexual abusers as seen in the long manifesto and several tweets where he doubled and tripled down on this philosophy. Let this linger in your mind a little bit to sort of get an idea of how deranged Dark Viper is. All of this happened during the reaction controversy of 2022 when sentiment against creators such as Pokimane, XQC, Hassan, and other people were at an all-time high for promoting and engaging in a very lazy form of content production, which would be live stream reactions. However, his philosophy as mentioned was so batshit insane that other creators and commentary channels on the scene such as Critical couldn't help but to point out the ridiculousness in Dark Viper's ideology. Fortunately enough for Dark Viper, this drama actually got some eyes on him and he would go on to be a more relevant creator on the scene, even becoming friends with Mudahar after a beef sparked where Dark Viper would rage against Muda for his takes on Twitch's new monetization policies. Ad revenue is shit, and then you advocate for staying with the same system that they have right now. What the fuck? How can you be that dumb? Which is strange, considering Dark Viper's vitriolic reaction. Personally, I wouldn't want to be friends with someone like this, and this is where we really begin. If the 14-page extreme manifesto against reaction content wasn't enough to point out just how much of a lunatic Dark Viper can really be, this reaction he had towards Mudohar will give you an idea of just how bad this man can snap at someone, which brings me to the overall optics of this video. I really want to talk about just how unstable Dark Viper really is. This is a person who 1. is not just a hypocrite, but 2. can control his emotions by any means. Whenever his logic and views are questioned or contested, he can't help but to make himself either become the victim of a situation or lash out against the people who are attempting to extend the olive branch and have a cordial discussion. One example that I want to focus on in regards to this is the one-sided beef he had against Linus Tech Tips. In this lengthy Reddit essay written by Dark Viper, we can see just how much he wants to be a victim in every discussion he's a part of, especially as he points out that he hates when people believe him to be toxic and claims to dislike receiving a lot of attention because it makes him anxious over the fact that he is often misunderstood or so he believes. Which is strange to me because as it appears, he revels in attention. He loves that shit. Personally, I don't think there is anything to misunderstand. Dark Viper genuinely just lets the worst of himself be shown. When you're constantly having meltdowns like this, lashing out at people that you disagree with in unhealthy ways, eventually you have to take a step back and consider how your actions affect other people and how you may handle your emotions and problems. This will be a huge point of discussion later in this video, by the way. But as per Dark Viper himself said, instead of acknowledging that he has problems or that he may get a bit too heated in his behavior towards people, he believes he is perfectly justified in lashing out in the way he does, as he explains in the same post stating that Charlie deserved his fury for misunderstanding the arguments in his document talk about humility. Again, if you didn't want to be seen as a lunatic, perhaps you shouldn't be so extreme when comparing apples to oranges, because as we all know, reacting to a video is not comparable to rape or slavery by any means. And again, 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 these are real comparisons that he made and vehemently stands by. This is just a little peek into who Dark Viper is as a person, and it definitely is not a one-off example, as he hasn't grown or changed as a person since. More recently, Dark Viper received some criticism from fellow commentator on the scene, Chud Logic, where he made the same assessments I've explained so far and determined that Dark Viper is a very troubled individual that often lets his emotions get the better of him and reacts in an extremely childish way, usually fueled by the fact that things did not go the way he wanted them to go. As we continue to look into Dark Viper not just as a creator entertainer, but as a person, you will notice that if he is not consistently winning or coming out on top in a video game or even in an argument or anything at all for that matter, he results to some of the most insufferable and dare I say scary behavior to endure. And, and Tilo just turn, they spent, they like, runs around the entire fucking map to come to O2. And I'm like, I had no, nothing to say. I was literally speechless. I had not speak that entire time because I was so confused why we were staying in the game. I, I have never been this mad at a person in the entirety of my life. I apologize. I'm still a little new at the game. <laughs> if you don't even know how to win the game, why are you playing? 
I do. I'm just sorry. I mix. As we can see by this clip right here, this is an extreme way to act over something as small as a loss in a children's video game. Only someone with a weird superiority complex or ego problem or even lack of sufficient attention as a child would react in such an antisocial manner. And I do mean antisocial. Not to be a pseudo-psychologist, but I feel like this is a very important conjecture to make. Only someone who is heavily antisocial would react this way in a very public display against an individual while in the presence of other people, digital or not. It shows an absolute disregard for the comfort of others, and it displays behavior only exhibited by individuals who are actually antisocial and have no regard for social opinion. He does not hesitate to scream at, insult, disparage, or verbally abuse the person he is lashing out against. Everything he cares about is strictly for his sake. And this is not and will not be the only example of him displaying this type of behavior. On the surface, some people may consider this to be somewhat humorous, and I can't help but to agree. Who doesn't love a good Spurg session where we can watch some lunatic have a meltdown over something so stupid? But the further we go into understanding just what kind of person Dark Viper really is, the more peculiar and uncanny his presence online becomes. Not long after Chud Logic uploaded his video containing criticisms against Dark Viper and his terrible behavior, Dark Viper actually attempted to claim the video. When Dark Viper was held up to scrutiny, his answer as to why he did any of this is that he doesn't think any content that uses the full source material can be fair use. And despite the fact that Chud Logic's video on Dark Viper was 35 minutes of his commentary on a 9 minute video that Dark Viper made. His defense for something like this is that it doesn't matter how good the content is, it shouldn't use the source material at its entirety no matter how much was added onto it. Secret. I don't care if you think the sun shines out your ass, or if you think your commentary is a gift from the gods. It doesn't give you any right to take anyone's content. It doesn't make anything you're doing justifiable if you think you're really fucking smart and your content is so fucking amazing. Because of Dark Viper's extreme stance on fair use, he didn't back down. Not one bit, and even went as far as to hire a lawyer in a later instance to take down videos that criticized him. It's clear that this was all in an attempt to save his fragile ego, rather than anything related to fair use, because Dark Viper is not someone who can handle scrutiny by any means at all, as he always has to find a way to make himself the good guy and victim in every situation. To add on to this and to reiterate, just to show you all to what lengths Dark Viper is willing to go to protect his ego, not only did he strike Chud's video, but he went out of his way to hire a lawyer that would document and write out examples of other creators and commentators on the scene using his content and then attempt to claim their videos as well. He did all of this and went to these lengths because at first he just went through YouTube to file a claim on Chud, but YouTube refused. It wasn't until Dark Viper begged, pleaded, and hired a lawyer when the claim went through. Only delusional and paranoid lunatics would go through these measures to censor public scrutiny about themselves. Unfortunately, the Streisand effect is a very real thing, so instead of people leaving him alone, which he claims to want more often than not, more and more people are going to be putting you up to scrutiny, such as myself. Another thing that I want to bring up that really highlights Dark Viper's troublesome behavior is his GTA speedrunning drama. To add on to the point that I made, which is Dark Viper's intense need to silence and isolate anyone who doesn't let him come out on top for the sake of his fragile ego, one notable example that highlights all of this is when he was beat in a certain speedrun category, which by his own claim is something that he has dedicated a majority of his life to accomplish. Instead of being a good sport and congratulating the individual or even attempting to use it as a friendly rivalry, motivation for competition, or motivation in general general to become better, instead, Dark Viper banned this man from speedrunning forums, detracted from his accomplishment, and berated the individual because Dark Viper felt robbed from something that he felt entitled to. Now whenever the subject is brought up, he just bans or silences anyone that talks about the situation and refuses to acknowledge that he wasn't the first one to accomplish the speedrun. Dark Viper is the type of person that genuinely can't handle something making him look inferior by any means. In my mind, I picture him being the type of kid that you meet in parties that gets extremely defensive and starts lying about his accomplishments when you bring some something random up like snowboarding or MMA. He just has to insert himself and start claiming how he used to compete and win championships, or those due to get extremely defensive after being called gay as a joke. Odd examples, I know, but those who know, no. Dark Viper has this strange delusional behavior to him, and I wouldn't say he simply has delusions of grandeur, I mean he does, and this is reflected in some of the ways that he presents himself online, such as the Jax Films drama where Dark Viper exudes jealousy that he wasn't given recognition for the anti-react movement. To some degree, I still want to fight this issue, I want to explain it to more people, I want to present it in different ways that it'd be more palatable to a wider amount of people. Certainly I got to, off to a bad start because Charlie misrepresented my entire work to two million people or whatever. There was no way that I could predict such insanity. I didn't think anyone could have predicted such insanity. Yeah, so what I'm saying is, it is totally understandable to me that Jack is perceived in a more positive light than me. Even had Charlie not, I'm gonna say it, lied to millions of people, people still wouldn't have probably thought highly of me. Do I have ill feelings against Charlie because of that? Yes.
If you go back and watch my response to Charlie's original video, you can see how angry I was. That wasn't a joke. That wasn't feigned. I was angrier then than I've ever been in the entire 32 years of my life. And I think I'm still angry and will always be angry. There's a part of me that is forever tainted by that video he released. But like I said, it's not just delusions of grandeur he exhibits, but he also has this strange inferiority complex that he uses to justify his antisocial behavior. He asked who I talk to about this, who do I bounce ideas off? And I said to him, like, I, I don't talk to anyone really. And then I'm a bit of a loner. In some respects, consider myself to be an old dog who was kicked a lot when he was a young dog. And so I don't really trust anyone. To him, this seems like something completely acceptable to do, but any functional human being that actually socializes and goes outside knows that this is something only isolated shut-ins do. To say that you don't really have any friends because you're afraid of being wronged and only rely on terminally online morons on the internet as your only source of counsel is something that when you first hear, it's pretty funny. It's hilarious, yes. But when you really start thinking about it, you can't help but to realize, oh my god, this person actually has problems. Very real psychosocial problems. And let me reiterate, I'm not here presenting a thesis and playing pseudo-psychology. This is an observation that anyone could make, so take it as just that. But to further reinforce my claims, I want to bring up his recent behavior with Carl Jost. This entire situation encapsulates everything I just discussed in a strange display of insanity and terrible social behavior. Carl made a tweet explaining that he had actually been cut off by Dark Viper AU, banned, and blocked on every media platform they share. This came as a shock to Carl, as Carl genuinely considered Dark Viper to be a close friend, even stating that he was excited to introduce his wife to Dark Viper, someone that he valued not just as a friend, but as an important individual in his life. Now, you might be wondering, what could Carl have possibly done to warrant this response, or lack thereof, from Dark Viper? Well, he took a sponsorship from a company that is co-owned by Asmund Gold someone that Dark Viper despises, because again, of his stance on React content and reactors. Again, as is taking the entirety of a video, meaning that a person is potentially less able to achieve the value they intended for it because it now has been reproduced and their video is now in competition with that reproduction. It is potentially possible that your reproduction helps fulfill their goals or other creative works in the future will have increased value because of your reproduction, but this doesn't impact whether the initial reproduction is actually fair use. All it impacts is whether or not the person will be pissed for what you've done. Having now gone through the four criteria, do you really think Asmund Gold sitting in a chair watching a video and pausing every once in a while constitutes fair use? And this was his response. Carl, I don't have people close to me by choice. Friendship requires trust and I don't give that unless out of necessity. I have spent most of my life being kicked by those I have given even a measure of trust to, and I don't find putting myself into situations where I have to worry about such things to be worth the mental and emotional effort. Yes, you were on the very small list of people I spoke to privately for non-business reasons. Regardless of whether you personally felt it meaningful, you broke the small measure of trust I gave you, a currency more rare than anything on this earth. I am under no obligation to associate with you or anyone, nor explain myself to you or anyone, just as you are not obligated to associate with me or explain yourself or act in accordance with my values. It's one thing to disavow your friend for pursuing business opportunities. It's another thing entirely to consider yourself so important and such a victim of society that you think your trust is more valuable than possibly anything else you could give to someone, or anything else on this earth for that matter, or your friend's ability to earn a paycheck. Imagine the sheer levels of delusion and self-importance you have to have to genuinely think that your feelings are so much more important than the one person who valued you enough to introduce you to his wife, under the impression that you are an incredibly important person to his life. You would have to be be incredibly stupid to throw a relationship like that away. But that's saying too little of Dark Viper, in all honesty. I mean, look at the way he responds to Carl's genuine emotional concerns. Regardless of whether or not you personally felt it meaningful, how could an actual human being bring himself to say this against someone he considered a friend? Well, the sad unfortunate reality is that Dark Viper doesn't really value anyone except for himself, and I feel like this should be a lesson to anybody who associates with him. This person is not a person. He is a backstabbing, robotic-like individual who values their interests more than your friendship. Dark Viper values their self-righteousness to an incredibly unhealthy degree, and as someone so filled with arrogance that he is willing to cut you off immediately for even slightly disagreeing with his opinions. This long list of antisocial behavior really explains why Dark Viper is the lol cow that he is, because he genuinely does not know how to act or behave in a way that could be considered human by any means. I know I'm coming across as a bit exaggerative, but we got to be real here. Would anyone want to associate with this person after all of this? My answer? No. And neither should his fans or supporters. He doesn't value his friends. What makes you think he values you if you're a fan? He doesn't. Which brings me to the end of this video.
Dark Viper is someone that needs to take a lengthy break from the internet and genuinely consider looking into a therapist or some form of actual counsel that could help him overcome these extremely delusional behaviors. He is not someone that even deserves to be a locale because he thrives off creating these environments where he is always the winner in his own delusional world. Instead of ever acknowledging his wrongs, he will always resort to silencing people or isolating himself and then play mind games on himself where he convinces nobody but himself that he was the only right entity in any of his squabbles. Because that is all his world is. Himself. I really hope Dark Viper can get the help he needs, or at least learn to become a better person, but we all know that this will probably never happen. That being said, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching.